when did you get into painting then? I was 13. It's uh, almost three years ago. Right. And, uh, and my mother, she showed me this uh, painting uh, class that lasted for a weekend right. uh, in a town nearby my, uh, my home. And I wasn't really sure about if I wanted to go because I thought that uh, uh, illustrating uh, Lord of the Rings mm. and uh, uh, Duck mm. was the way to go. Mm. I knew about uh, the Mona Lisa and uh, the sick child, but not that it was possible to do that today. Right. It was... I mean, you didn't consider it a, a, no, as I, an option? Uh, no. It was... No, I, I didn't know about it at all. Mm. I did not know that it was anyone that... I didn't know that uh, Odenurgum existed. Right. I didn't know that... Uh, that uh, the Pieta by Titian was existing. Uh, but at last I said, yes, I will go. So I brought this illustration of uh, Gandalf smoking mm -hmm. his uh, big long pipe. Uh, I think it's a drawing by Aun Lee or Jan Aun. Aun Lee, I think. I wanted to make a copy of that, mm -hmm. and so I did. Not a great copy, but uh, okay, very bad actually. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, the woman that uh, held the class, her name is Monica Helgesen. She was a student of of Nurm. Right, I know. So uh, she said, uh, "You should really look up Nurm at the internet and maybe you can come back tomorrow and paint a copy of one of these paintings. Uh, so I, when the day, first day of the class was over, we went uh, to the hotel room. Uh, I uh, searched for Adner room and uh, the first painting that really gripped me was Twilight. The Shitting Woman. Mm. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah. I wasn't, I don't think I was laughing or anything. I was so gripped because he has made, made a shitting woman look attractive. Yeah. And that's really amazing that you can make shitting look attractive. Yeah. Hello, shitting, attractive. So uh, I was uh, scrolling through the page, looking for more paintings. Uh, and I came back to the, uh, the class the, other, the next day and I decided to paint a copy of a uh, uh, portrait by mm. Nerdrum, Amo. And I did. Mm. Uh, so I came back to my home. Uh, I bought more painting material. Started working on a copy of uh, Rembrandt. Um, and uh, it looked like it turned out as a portrait of my uh, great grandmother's brother because they look very similar. <laughs> uh, and after a while, I made a self-portrait from the mirror, not from photo, as a, a soldier with uh, this, uh, with this more or less the same clothing as this. Right. Uh, with my uh, my eyes closed, like uh, gaping. I think I saw the self-portrait by uh, Nurum before painting that. Uh, and that was my first self-portrait. Right. 
And you never even considered photo? No. Was that conscious or...? No, uh, no. No? I don't think so. Uh, but uh, I have tried to draw out from photo before. But it's so boring. Yeah. Uh, I have always preferred to have live models in front of me. Or uh, other yes. drawings or uh, paintings. It reminds me of what, what uh, Don Rosa says, that he's always found drawing tedious. Mm. He likes storytelling. Mm. <laughs> so he has to go through drawing to get to the story. Exactly, right. yeah. yeah. And after a while I, I made a portrait of my sister. Uh, it went fine. And I made another uh, copy of uh, Nerdrum. Mm. Um, and uh, later, I uh, I I discovered the uh, kitsch philosophy. How? It was the uh, woman that was responsible for the class. The girl, yeah. yeah. I saw she posted some photos on the internet with a hashtag kitsch something. Yeah. I was really curious about uh, what the hell is kitsch. So I searched for it on the internet and it was said something on Wikipedia that it was mass produced, uh, low quality art, all of that. Uh, and, uh, but I, half a year after I attended the class, I uh, well, visited my grandmother and we went to a bookstore just randomly. And I saw Kirch more than art. Really? And that was behind another book. So I had to <laughs> take the book away. Is there something interesting here? Oh, let's buy it. So I bought it. I didn't understand much because, uh, yeah. Yeah, I was, I was uh, just pause a second there. Um, were you at that time aware of the situ whole situation in the art world, the, the, you know, the typical stories that you hear people having gone to art schools, they want to learn, but they, at best they don't learn anything? I mean, did you know about the situation for figurative painting, all of that? Yeah, I think I knew about uh, Norwegian artist, Svari Bjerknes, who was talking shit about Hitch. Uh, I did not want to become like him. I was very clear on that. I wanted to become a painter. Yeah. And I did not want to make art. I never considered myself as an artist, even when I made uh, duck cartoons. Yeah. But I was very clear you that... Clear that you were a craftsman? Uh, yeah, not artist. Do not become an artist. Because uh, art is like Picasso, the old Picasso. Yeah. Uh, I, I was completely different from those people. So you were aware of these, those issues before you came across Nordrum, before you came across uh, Kitchmore and Nord? Yeah. I knew that uh, Jackson Pollock was an artist. I was not like Jackson Pollock. Right. It was obvious to you. <laughs> yeah. Why the hell should I have the same title? as someone that's doing the complete opposite of myself. So you, you were never convinced with the idea that Rembrandt would have done like Jackson Pollock in that time because art shall reflect its time and these things? No, oh, I was uh, very interested in uh, making great things and making great stories. Hmm. That was my concern. Yeah. Not to be uh, original and be an artist and be a uh, Right. part of the group because uh, I've always been an outcast. Yeah. 